All right, children, first thing you do when you wake up, you make your bed. That way you have something to look forward to when you get back. Let's get these. If they, Mom already took care of the first shift, but it's lunchtime now. Hi, Brody boy. How you doing, man? It's Green Screen Brody. What's going on, Green Screen Brody? Do you not want to wake up? That's fine with me. How you doing, buddy? Hey, what you doing? Uh, what do you want to eat, Beckham says. Come on, let's go. Let's get you something to eat. I'll hook you up with candy again. You want candy? Huh? What do you want to eat? Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that thing. <laughs> I guess it don't matter because they used to have bunk beds here. That's where Brody used to bang his head. But they can drop things down in there. Not like I really care. But if you drop your tablet or something down there, then you're in deep fish. Because I, I am not going to be able to get it. Yeah, you see there's stuff down there. I don't even know what's in there. I can't really see too well. That's from back in the day. Oh, we already put a Papa Pig down there. Peppa Pigs. Kids, man. That's the only issue I'm worried about. I might have to put that other one up and bang it in there. I don't know. Like, you know, man, you can't win. Dad's always got to do things for y'all. Nonsense. Come on, let's go. Let's go get something to eat. Come on. Now's your chance because I'm not coming back up in an hour to do it. Come on, my man. Now, up. Up. You've been napping. I heard you go back. It was real quiet for the past two hours. You've been napping. Now, this way. Okay. This way, sir. Thank you. All right, we'll stay there. Okay. Okay, you do it at your own pace. Okay. Okay, make sure all the doors are locked. Oh, you are coming. You just want to go at your own level here. This is locked too, right? Okay, after you. At one point, you guys got to get bass today or tomorrow. Okay. I'm not going to take no for an answer today. Come on, Birdie, go. After you, bro. See, so, you know, we've been throwing sharks and zebra around. Ah, oh, Mom, you left that all out here like this. Oh, God. Thank God you went and took a nap. God, man, she never listens to me. You can't leave food out with the kids. Unless you want it all over the house. Because I can't keep cleaning it up with the toys, man. Damn, you were rocking. Or you remove this to go back there, right? Jesus, man. You gotta push this back, buddy. As you run across it, make it heavier. A triangle, yeah. Good job. Thank God you didn't throw those Cheerios all over today. Oh, man. Like I said, that's why I don't want to clean them up because as soon as I do, you know what's gonna happen. She'll forget and they'll go all over the house, all over again. I'm not doing it again and again and again. We're going to wait to wink when school starts, honestly, to clean them all up. So you don't need them off the floor anymore. All right, wait, wait, are we taking a nap? Okay, bye. Yeah, why are you sitting down on the couch then? Why aren't you sitting at the kitchen counter and waiting for your food? What do you want to eat? I don't know if mom went food shopping or not with the water. We got to get that air going. It's hot in here. What do you want to eat? All right, nice talking to both of you. All right, Dad's just gonna figure this out in his own here. Uh, all right, get this pot of water boiling here. Freddie, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing, man? You gotta get out of the kitchen while I'm heating up a big boiling pot of water. Come on, up, up. This is not a safe place for you. Up, up and out, now. Out, thank you. Out there. Jesus, man. I'm sorry, Brody. Why are you sorry for, why are you sorry to Brody? What'd you do? It's, I'm sorry, Brody. I'm sorry, Brody. I love you and give him a hug. <laughs> we got our spaghetti going. He's doing that baby thing. I mean, that's my fault. I don't mind him doing it, but. This baby thing. Did she make it? Yeah, she's still in shock from the first couple times we did it. What do you want to eat? There's not many options here. I'm making spaghetti for your brother. What do you want to eat, Beth? Do you want to eat this? This is left over from breakfast. You want this? If not, I'm going to throw it away. It's generic heroes, and they probably are stale if they've been sitting here since 10 or 9, whatever. What do you want to eat? Oh, man. Are they cutting the lawn out there? Oh, they already did cut it. I heard them. They're just blowing away with the leaves. Leave no man. 
All right, Brody, show me you're gonna eat that first. You obviously don't seem that hungry. This one over here. That's all that's left of the pretzels for now. Oh boy. 153, good level. I gotta put all this art away up in the attic today. It's like getting in the way of everything I do in that closet. Yeah, dad needed to organize this a little bit. It was basically just the art that was causing the issue here. So, Becca, I'm making the cheesy bread here. Trying to use whatever food we got left because we gotta do groceries, mom or dad, both of us, whatever. This one hasn't touched the spaghetti, but he doesn't even know that I forgot to add salt to it because we only have that pink salt laying around and I forgot to put the usual, you know, basic salt in there. Are you gonna eat it all today? I mean, I saw you eat an apple. Show me you're gonna eat those two pieces. They're hot, you gotta blow on it. It's very hot, okay? Boy, on whatever's left today, so they're gonna expire in two days. Might as well just make them now. Use them. Let's try to empty this fridge, eat whatever we can, children. If you guys weren't so picky, we have so much food, it's just they're so picky. It's the same thing pretzels, spaghetti, and like the same crap every day bread. <laughs> Take your vitamins, kids. And again, Birdie won't eat most of them. This is much better now. We're gonna put those gummies up there. Yeah, and this is much better, Dad. And I see you took the other two pieces. Good job, so you ate all four. You did like the cheesy bread there. There you go, look, I give you the darker gummies. These ones are your brothers. I'm not gonna give you the C. I know you're not gonna eat them. I know your butt's hungry. Yesterday he ate these, so I hope he eats again. He won't eat the spaghetti because I did not add salt to the water. It's a big waste. You like that cheesy bread, huh? I'm gonna give you 12 because I'm gonna give him M&Ms too. This tastes much better than that crappy pizza you get. They put it on the sourdough bread, the cheese and olive oil is better. I like doing it with garlic and all that, the non bread too is really good. Oh, he took a bite. See, there's salt on top of it. It tastes the same with the salt sprinkled on there. All right, yeah, it's not a waste after all. Good job, Brody. The cyclone is like overflowing in the pantry. Let's bring a yellow bucket in here. Let's fill it up. This is getting to be a little overwhelming here. Let's get this set in there. Oh, we can't put it in there. Oh, good God. Well, that's cat duties. All right, we'll just leave it here. Good job, buddy. Some grapes too. Mm -hmm. So you eat the grapes too? Good job, Brody. Yeah, you want some grapes too? No, you just want the water. Instead of M&M's, he's asking for this. So we'll do that instead of it'll be about the same. Go ahead, you said you wanted it. Here. Thank you, you're welcome. Dad made himself a chicken and a, a salad here, but I'm just gonna eat, uh, eat some of it now and wrap it up for later. Just, still waiting on these ones. Are you actually eating these or just touching them? Your hands are dirty, bro. Give me these things. You're just playing with them. Ridiculous. <laughs> While you're pretending to be a baby, I tell me that noise so he doesn't hear it. There you go, eat them up. I don't know what you're looking for. I'll rearrange in here a little bit. There isn't anything else, buddy. There's no fruit snacks. Exit. Stayed right. Stay down here, though. I think we're going to get baths after this. Do you want to do a bath or do you want to do nap? A bath. A bath? Okay. Let me finish cleaning up. You got five minutes. Wait five minutes. A little rock in motion before the bath, huh? This is yes. Good. Whoa. <laughs> Are you ready for bath too? All right, cool. Bath time after this. Upstairs bathroom bath, okay? Potty, whatever. Thank you. Good job, Brody. Potty the bath. Oh, this bathroom needs to be cleaned back. There's so much pee on the floor in here, but there's all kinds of nastiness. Oh, this is so funny. You're going to pass on. Get in the tub, please. Please, Beckham. Clean up this nonsense from the one time when he ripped it off. I've just been using it. We've both been using it, but it's got to go. While they're getting their baths, I'm gonna try to clean up the bathroom, sweep up the brain flakes in his bedroom, hopefully. Stay in the tub, please. There's so much trash under here. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw most of this all out. There we go, kids, much better, huh? Jesus, man. In a minute, we gotta shut that off, okay? It's kind of full. You soapy water, good job, Brody. Don't touch the toilet bowl, daddy's scrubbing it. This is not foam you should be playing with. Play with your soapy bubbles in there. Start this. All right, kids. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, that's why I don't like the food, kids. That's what's why it gets mixed as gross. All right, brain flake pile. They're all cleaned up in here. Even the ones on the trampoline behind, we did it all. 
Another one. See all this? This is no. I'm gonna tell you over and over, guys. I'm picking these out. I'm like, man, they're all sticky. It's honey nut Cheerios. The carpet's all sticky. This is this is no. Again, I'm gonna really be pissed if you do it again after I clean this. Let's go dump these out. Next, we're gonna get the vacuum here. Try to get the majority of these Cheerios. Skin. This is no. Don't make dad do this again. You understand? Hey. I know you're having fun, but don't make me do this again with the food. Okay, it's the brain flakes are okay, but not the food. I know there's a little bit in here, but nothing compared to what's all over the hallway down there. We're gonna say it's gonna be full of bags this week. Got one more, no fruit, one more. Last time I used this wasn't working too good. It was all the string stuck in there and there were zip ties, all, all, you know, all kinds of crap. We use a knife to cut it, make sure it's all cleaned out in there for the most part. Just showered my dirty again to make sure this thing's got a view, a clear view. We'll take that off and check. That'll do it. I was laying from off to show. Let's get a new one. I'm like, no, clean it. You can go in the dishwasher too, or take it out there one day when we're in the garage. I'll do it in the driveway, really clean it. Good job, you letting brother wash your hair. I like that. Good job. That's nice, Brody. Next time I'll give you the soap, you guys can wash each other's hair. <laughs> All right, let's vacuum. I'm at the point, kids, where I'm going to start throwing away the Legos and the brain flakes. This is the last time I separate them all from all over the place here. We gotta clean up here too. That's good enough. We unloaded the spice. Everything's done. Everything, everything. They gotta go wash their hair and get them out of there. It's been over an hour. What is going on in here? Okay, you're good. You're being good. Yeah, you need your hair washed. That's why he ran back. I need soap. Hold on. It's good that you're trying. You're washing your hair, but you need to use this. Okay. See, so we gotta do this. Okay. So you understand. These are. All right, little emo boy, you go downstairs. I'm gonna wash your brother's hair. Your outfit's there. You know how to put it on. Dry yourself. If you wouldn't have just touched it, it wouldn't have went in your eye. I know you don't listen. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're not going back in this one. He's trying to go back in the tub. All right, one child ready to go. He was waiting on me because I always forget. I got the lotion on him too. So you, you're next. All right, everybody's fresh and clean, nice and soft. All right, go over there with him in the blanket as he plays pretend. We're not eating again because literally we just ate. Well, you know, we did a whole thing here. Don't even try to make it a, like, let's eat again, crap. The boys sitting together. Blue, green. He's kind of a green, green more. What you doing, Beckham? Giving him hugs? All right, I'm gonna clean up. Still cleaning up here to catch him because we start on like, just up and give him bass out of my food. Still sitting out here, doors open. Okay. These kids over here thinking I'm gonna feed them again. I haven't even sat now. It's been like three hours. It's been two and a half hours since they ate. Two hours, really. But since I was cleaning, they're, they're like, they're thinking we're gonna eat again. No, man. You guys wait till like eight o'clock, okay? I still gotta edit yesterday's video, too. Have a sip here. I, got, I gotta go to the bathroom, clean up the bathroom still. Okay, you want candy, but you're not getting it right now. Uh, go in the room, play with the brain flakes I just set up. Both of you, I just cleaned your whole room. I gotta clean up the bathroom mess now, okay? Good, this is yes, yeah. Look, yes, yeah, see, I set you up in here. There you go. Look at that. Look at your brain flake pile. There you go, buddy. Redirection. I can't believe they really trying. I went from feeding them to cleaning and they wanted me to feed them again. Yeah, like, nah, bro. Give me a break, man. Whoa, monkey man. Holy moly. Look at all those flakes you got. Yeah, that'll go to get you occupied for an hour. And we got our cameraman over here. Tyler, you want Monsters Inc.? Yes or no? Okay, no thank you then. We'll just leave it like this. That's fine. I don't care. All right, I gotta clean the bathroom, okay? Yeah, yeah, get away from me with that. Thank you. I was looking for the peroxide. I forgot we had this big thing for when I had my wounds. I want to do like a flush of the ears with peroxide. You let it sit in there, turn your head sideways each side, gets all the wax build up out. So I can feel, keep to just push it back in there more. Just did a little bit in there. Now it's all tingly, like this. Get it to go in more. You can come with me now. How are we doing here? Cheerios already making their way out, huh? Let me just double check and make sure I locked everything because I'm all discombobulated. So many noises today. You kids, just all day. It's driving me nuts at the moment. Already throwing Legos over the edge. So, I mean, it's instantaneous that you clean up and immediately the mess just starts again. It sucks. That's only, what, two minutes? 
you will not be coming in that bedroom with me with that. Just letting you know. And you, you keep sitting down like I'm going to feed you again. You are out of your mind. And no. No. You guys got to wait, man. I'm going to sit down and play race car boom. I'm going to edit first and race car boom. I think I edited yesterday's video. Yeah, but that sounds good. I'm not tired. I just don't want to feed you now and then feed you at 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. Okay. We do, though. We got to edit. Last night's video, I did not edit it. It's already after six. You good? I didn't ask you, I asked your brother. Back up, back up with the candy. Now, back up. I'm trying to edit. Back up. Man, back up. Give me a minute. I'm doing something. Don't wipe your tears on me. Did you not tell me no, you don't want to watch Monsters, Inc. And now you're crying about putting it on. And I did. I put it on. Look, it's on. You don't want it on? I, this is his routine. What, what is the problem with Monsters, Inc. being on? Why? Well, it's on. All right, I'll turn it off. What, what is the problem? I don't understand. So you want me to turn this off? Okay, I'll turn it off. What, it, it, I'm so confused. Oh, what is this, Monsters University? All right, oh, this is Monsters University. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, there you go, I'm sorry. I thought it, I, I drew it from the controller on the Roku app, and it happened to be Monsters University. Good job, Brody. Man, you two are loud, oh my God. Still haven't edited it. I'm trying, and you keep doing all this craziness. This right here drives me nuts. You throwing these over the edge over and over again and screaming and recording it. Jesus. We'll get into the session soon. We got to do this first. All right, starting to edit right now. First race in, we win too. We multitasking up in here. Look at that, and we still won, man. I'm like over here trying to organize clips and edit, and doing all kinds of things at the same time, and we still won. I love it. I win. Good race, though. All right, we win again, man. Our first two races off to a really good start, man. Good stuff. Good karma. I guess cleaning the house was like, here you go, you win. I love it. They're being really good. I'm going to check on them in a minute here. They want some level 647 play. We've been playing this game for over 10 years, man. 12 years now. 2013, 11 years. It's wild. Wild. Let's make sure we select the next track here. Let's go check on the children here. Yeah, good race. Good race. Lots of players in there. A red line. I don't know if it's the same red line. There was one that used to talk a lot of junk to me. They backed off now, I guess. <laughs> All because I accidentally hit him one time where I purposely did. I don't remember. Ooh, what do we want here? Yeah, let's go this one real rusty there. Come on. Everybody pick it. Let's go. That's the best one. Well, they're all good. The waterway's cool, all of them are good, but we like the more round tracks. All right, let's go check on these kids real quick. Because the watering hole wasn't that popular. They seem to be in contempt with it. Jumping and watching Monsters Inc. Good job, you guys are being good boys. Yeah, you're being good boys, I like it. You got your brain blades. He's balancing, you're doing brain flakes. I love it, this is yes. Good job, boys. Good job, isn't it nice to come to a nice clean room? To mess it all up again. <laughs> Good job. Brain flake, man. I got the mattress under here too for you. Probably like that with your feet. Yeah, it's nice and comfy for you. Let me see you up here. Is it sitting right Boing, 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 boing. I don't know if you can see him over there. But yeah, it is yes, kids. So quickly we, we turn into a mess. And then over time, we'll get most of these brain flakes out of here, and then I can clean up the cherry and mess to see it all over there. It sucks. Probably get a mesh bag eventually. They just gotta keep them from doing it. That's the problem. And every time Mama I leave food out by accident or anything, it's, it goes all over. It's a no. All right, you're being good boys. I'm going back to the race car if you need me. You know where I'm at. You got Monza Zinc, you got your tablet, you got your bouncing. Everybody's, uh, Taking it easy, we're doing our thing. I like it, I like it a lot. Good job, kids. Third race in. That was close, man. Oh my God, that was so close. Ah, good race, though. I'll take second, man, on that one. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's film a little bit of this today. Who won it? What's the name? I got second, though. Uh. You here to be the hype man? You gonna do the dancing skills for me? 
How the hell are you already wet on the side of your clothes, kid? You gonna be my dance man? Where's some dancing happy feet? We're working on, they working on a full lobby here. Well, big boys up here, man. Big dogs up in here, man. There's a lot of good players in this. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my ass ran on this one, probably. Top five, maybe lucky. Yeah, there's 30 people in this one. Let's go. Here, one for you. Or three for you, excuse me, one for me. Sit, sit down, no, no. Sit down and eat them here. Thank you. Thank you. We eat them here. See, already got a piece of cardboard in your shirt for the pile of brain foods. <clears throat> My race is about to start, buddy. Here. We'll give you more later. I don't even know how to say the one guy's name, this guy. Kick him out of there. N-D-I-A-S-S-E-W-E-1. -E -E I mean, I won that race, but he tried to take me. He took me on the very beginning. Go around and he took out Papa and himself. A couple other people. Get him the hell out of here, man. Such an awful race car driver. What a dick. Literally, in the beginning of the race, this guy takes me out immediately. And then towards the end, he tried to take me out. And then he went after the other guy that was ahead of me. And then they both took each other out, kind of, in a way. Just dirty race car drivers, man. Jerks. Brody saw it. Brody was witnessing it. He said, that's dirty. That's dirty. Oh, and we had the fastest lap. Yeah, we were burning on that one, man. It's because that guy took me out in the beginning. I had to catch all the way up. Flying. Oh, no, the dark. It's hard to see. And he's doing lights out, too. That race was no contact. We're done, man. We're done with the races. Look at this one. He's, a, <laughs> he's like, give me candy, Dad. We're going to go get dinner. Okay, noses. <laughs> you give me my noses again. Mm. I love you. Let me smell that clean hair. Oh, you're so clean now. You don't smell like a dirt ball. Look at He's trying so hard. He's like, noses, noses, noses. <laughs> After dinner, I'll give you M&M's again. We got to go eat dinner, though, okay? I love you. Being really good today, both of you guys. Just loud today. Lots of stimming sounds. And then Beth kind of took them off. But the routine, you saw Beckham crying. I was paying. I thought it was Monsters. Inc. It's Monsters University. Sorry, buddy. My bad. He was crying. So I said, oh. But he told me no to Monsters, Inc. So, like, I don't know. I mean, they were in a tub for an hour. So, they're, like, very relaxed and soaked. You know, like, when you soak in a tub, you're right, you get real tired. I know that feeling. All right, let's go get you some dinner here. You said potty, right? Here, I want to show you something why the bathroom's nice and clean, okay? Look, this is important, okay? You don't need... Okay, go ahead, put the lid up. Wait a second, though. You don't need to have both these lids down, and you don't need this. If you're going to pee, and you don't need the stool, okay? Just like this, okay? This is how you go pee, okay? There you go. Good job. This is when you poop. You say exactly poop. Okay, you poop. Brody, come on, dude. Good job, Brody. Brody, I, I literally just cleaned up, Brody. Do you have to throw these all the way out here in the hallway? I know you want to, but can you just give it a day and let it be clean for one day? Jesus, man. But again, that's what they're for, but it's just a bummer that they're still Cheerios mixed in. Just every time, you're going to have to keep getting them cleaned up. It sucks. Don't see if he's bringing them anywhere out. Here, go ahead. Come on, go ahead. Show me what you're going to do. Put them in this thing or in that. Yeah, there you go. It's like what he does with the water. And then he decorates. It's okay. We got the majority of the dirt, but it's just little cheerios and little things that you can't get unless we put them in a bag and clean them. Okay, let's go downstairs. Come on, take your blankets. Downstairs, it's dinner time. Thank you. I gotta shut this. Get my laptop. Just go downstairs. Leave the light on. Just go downstairs and leave the light on so I can see what I'm doing. He was doing this the whole time. Have a seat. I'll be right down. Thank you. Go sit down. Go. Go to the counter, go sit down. Jesus, man. Then he turns the light out on me again. Then flush the potty if it's available to you, please. Then you can take this and you can hang it back up right here. And I know it's, he's having a hard time understanding because he keeps flat. It's pissed everywhere back here. I had to clean all behind it. It's disgusting. Help me. Help me. Thank you. Get the cups. Water cups. Just get the cups. Thank you. Because I got to get this, this, dirty towels. Thank you. This one over here, I can smell poop. We gotta change him. He's gotta get fresh. Ah! Why did you just do that? Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah please don't. Your cheese bread's in the oven. We gotta do insulin change. We got a lot to do right now. Ugh. What are you at here? 91, okay. all right, and we gotta do this too. All right, we do six, six minutes. Oh, Brody boy, I wish you did not poop yourself and you could just tell me that you had to go poopy. Almost wish you would have rather pooped in the tub when you were by yourself at the end there. I don't know. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then after you eat your cheesy bread, see how much you eat, and then we're going to give you more insulin, okay? Good job. 
And you smell nice and clean too. It's nice to kiss your head and not worry about getting gross mouth. See, because this, this thing is finally starting to heal. Careful, it's hot. Start you out with two, and if you finish them, you can have these other two, because I don't want them. Making our lemonade here. Boiled sugar water, Brody loves watching me do this. He's, it's, a, it's hysterical. He gets a laugh out of it. Oh, oh. What are you doing, bro? You have them already on your plate. What's the difference? What are you talking about? There's no difference. This is it right here. What's the problem with them? There's no difference between us. You don't believe me? Here. It's the same thing. They're all the same, Brett. You want all four for yourself. Okay, there you go. There you go. It's hot. Just be careful, okay? Take a bite. I put olive oil on it. It should be okay to bite now. Really? Should have just took this out earlier. I gotta take this out before Brody, <laughs> Brody's poop tops it off. Damn, the thing is freaking packed, bro. I should be shoving away. We don't want the smell. Good job, Beckham. So we like that cheesy bread, huh? I'm making you more spaghetti. It's in the microwave, man. And he likes it with the sea salt sprinkle on top, so I guess we can do that. Maybe he likes that more. Maybe it's too salty. I don't know. <laughs> I smell your poop, man. We gotta change your your own pull-ups. Where's the spaghetti? We gotta clean this microwave too. It's like dirty. Ugh. There you go. You don't have to eat it all, but whatever you don't eat, I'll save. Oops. All right, we got to do really 10. Eat all four of those, eat house those things. I'm running around trying to get these things done at once. Share this video, change him, get myself set up. Good job, you did it. All right, now you can go watch TV. Go ahead. There it is, the remote. Yeah, you can yeah, make sure you put it back on the ledge over there when you're done. Pick it up. Pick up the remote. Sit down. Put it over there. And don't leave it on the couch. The brother smushes it down in there, okay? And we won't have to hear you cry and have a meltdown about it. You can get the Legos. Just make sure you put this couch back to where it belongs, okay? Because i got to change your brother over here, bro. In case you're a mess under there. Let's get you a freshie. I don't know. I think he did. Smells like duty a little bit here. I can't tell. There is no poop. I am amazed. This must have had a nasty fart. He's got a poop. Go potty. Let's sit here for a little bit and let you go. Not just pee. I need you to poop in this thing, man. We got to get you to poop in the potty, buddy. Like you used to do every now and then. All right. Outfit number three for the day. A little sleeper keeper. A little keeper sleeper. There you go. Nice and uh, nice and nice. I love this outfit on you. The colors. All right. Go have fun. Brain flake boy. What did you forget? Go ahead. No, I'm bringing water with you. <sighs> I can't believe he didn't poop. That means he's going to have a nasty one in the morning. You sleepy, huh? You being a baby? I love you. Sweet dreams. Ugh, I just realized. Well, I got to share this. I just forgot I got to put all this stuff away, too, still. I was waiting until they go to bed. I guess I, I have a dinner here. I can just take one of these out and put it in there. Yeah, we'll do this for now. Eventually, I'll put this up in the attic or somewhere. Plus, I need this blank paper that, for that printer I got to send out to uh, the Medicaid, Social Security, all this stuff. It's paying for this. And if this printer even works, I was saying to them, I was like, can I just uh, send you guys the files through email? Like, no, I have to print them out and send them in the mail the old fashioned way. I was like, uh, I should have asked them, can I just put it on a little like USB stick and send it to you in the little thing? Like, you know, it's such a pain in the butt, man. Like, well, yeah, yeah. it's like, I, I feel like it's like purposely do that to make you really make an effort to keep going with all this stuff. No email, enough. I can't just send it to you an email. Can you get with the technology today? Come on, man. Just want to check on you real quick before I go out to the go go Roush. You seem to be doing good. Good job, buddy. This is yes. All right. Take your vitamins, bed. These are old. They're empty now. All right. Yesterday's video is up. Just a little under 9:30. Oh dear God. Well, that'll probably get a bunch of you people to click on it. Like, what is that? Is a baby? So, uh, yeah. 9:30. Good stuff. All right, let's sit down on our butts here.
even know it was the exact time of his life, 10.30 at night. That's just a little bit of a, you know, Brody having his sensory needs met with his brain flakes. He didn't even know I was there. I love that, how excited he was. He's sitting there, he's like, I could hear him up here. I'm just like, wow, dude, <laughs> I'm under the mood all years. Yeah, I'm under the mood. So every time I pile him up, he loves that, man. Uh, I know I don't do it a lot, but I, I should try to do it more than like every uh, week or so or two weeks. <laughs> but uh, you see how, how happy that makes him. Instead of the water player to food, he's happy with just that, man. I love that. His brain flakes work really well. And again, every form of autism, everybody's different. Uh, but if you have a child similar to Brody, highly recommend getting those. Get the 2500 pack. It's on Walmart and Amazon. I think it's 65 bucks. And then they even got the kit to build in there. If not, you can. there's like $15 for 500 of them. Man, they really work. He loves them, man. They're colorful. And they also, the... Uh, if you use the black lights like I was using in the beginning, that's why I was like, go back to the roots. I used to just do a tray, and I'd get pick out all the the ones that glowed in the the black light or the you know, you can get those LED lights and just turn it to the color of the uh, purple light, and they all glow under it. And he loved it. So, and the therapist that would come to like that's brilliant. They they started doing it with other kids. She's like, she's like, I tried it with another kid. He loves it. And I was like, yeah, man, glow in the dark. Uh, toys are the shit. <laughs> And the glow in the dark brain, fl brain, brain flakes are the shit. I think the yellow, the orange, and the green ones glow. And I just separate them all. Or whatever one's glowed. I think it was at least the... I know the orange and the yellow ones glow. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm happy for you, buddy. You have to kick him butt. You're having fun. The movie's over. Uh, hopefully you go to bed soon. I'm out here watching and reviewing uh, more GCW back here wrestling stuff. The third one, I want to edit that as well. Just going through stuff to, uh, I will put up another couple vlogs. I know you guys are like, come on, get on the wrestling stuff again. I will, I promise. I'm gonna go back, sit on my ass, and I light up another, don't eat another cigar and just take it easy, man. Uh, you guys are really good today. I love you, boys. Hopefully, I end it this way. I don't want to come back and ramble because it's hard not to when you're uh, having the sauce and the, the world is chaotic. Oh, we got the screensavers at the same time. <laughs> but uh, I try not to. <laughs> I have a lot of opinions of things, but I'm just like, shut up. Try not to be political. It's, it's pointless, man. Politics is nonsense, man. It's all nonsense. It's really all it is, man. We all know that. And if you don't know that, you're stupid. You're ignorant, and you don't know that it's all a big game. It's a game. All right, shut up, Dad. I'll be back. Or I won't. <sighs> all right, let's end this now. Uh, again with politics and religion. Um, as I was sharing with you guys the other night, uh, the film The Chariots of the Gods, uh, it's basically Ancient Aliens is completely based off of that one film from, I think it was 1970. It's free. Uh, you go on Amazon or on free, Freeware, free whatever show, watch it. It's a great documentary piece. Uh, and, and the history in there and everything, and it shows so many valid points of everything uh, of how religion was created by other men or other uh, living individuals from other places to control their human beings. And it's, it's, it's such common sense that it, it, that's the thing. It's like, if you got that common sense or you don't got that common sense, I have common sense. And I know it's damn well a factual thing. <laughs> of course you can say there's no factual proof of it, but it's true, man. Uh, I am not a I'm not a Christian or religious person. But if you, if, if you look at the science from this, there's just this one scene where they show up somewhere over top of, uh, of an island somewhere where uh, these human beings were basically in the Stone Age, flew over there, and then they flew back. And over the, the little simple airplane they had in, in the 70s or 60s, and it goes back and it shows them uh, they built an airplane out of uh, hay and other stuff they could do to, to, to replicate the gods around that. Um, there's just so much uh, proof of, of like that there was something else that visited us here. Uh, uh, as when you look at, look at ourselves, obviously we would do the same. It just boggles my mind every day when I, when I think about this concept and I understand why it's not uh, more uh, shared 
publicly through media and other stuff as it's starting to because we exchange information at a rapid rate like no other. And we thought we were exchanging at a rapid rate. Now with AI, it's even, it's like tenths of a second. Like me, myself seeing me do these stupid like little races, but it's like that little tenth of a second <laughs> in a race is like, is more in, in tenth of a section. A, a tenth of a second is, uh, AI is more intelligent than anything I've been through through life. So start to think about it like that. But they, they literally, they went over this village and they started replicating it and, and worshiping it. And it, that became their gods. And, and that's what people would do uh, in these times of 2,000 years ago, 5,000 years ago, even possibly 10,000 years ago, and even 30,000 years ago. I'm not saying uh, carbon dating is, is accurate, but like uh, it's beyond interesting. And in this film, it's not like uh, it's the one film you can actually trust because with AI, unfortunately, everything is like faked and like done. So this is film. This is literally people flying over buildings. Much respect. Like again, I respect film as it took time to make a film. They flew over top of these areas and showed this. It's the first time you saw like uh, from the sky showing beings and showing objects like a spider or beings living. You have to watch it. I think it's the Chariots of the Gods. I forget. But it's based off of ancient aliens completely. And ancient aliens is the one, they, they capitalize on all this stuff. Just like anything you see on social media, everybody wants to capitalize and make more money and more money. And make. I mean, I, I've lost track of how many times I've watched ancient aliens and it's like the same repetitive bullshit over and over again. If you don't have anything new to share, don't make another season. Wait 10 years to make another season. Uh, but they put out seasons after season, and I get it, because, you know, we've got the stoners, we got all that, you know, myself too, I, I continue to watch it, but then I'm like, didn't y'all just go over this, like, you know, 15 seasons ago? I'm like, I don't want to hear this again. Um, but it's uh, it's common knowledge. Uh, that That's how it goes. Uh, I even believe the Chariots of the Gods was, like, for an Emmy or uh, Oscar or, uh, nomination, whatever the hell it was, but... Uh, that was my first time actually watching it in whole, and I was just like, holy crap. Like, how brilliant it was at that time. I think it was 1970 when it was released. Brilliant to think at that time. But it's just crazy to me that people are still going to throw religious bullshit with everything goes on in the world every day, especially when it comes to the election. Don't throw me your religious bullshit beliefs, man. It, 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 it boggles my mind that that's how ignorant that society is, is that you're willing to fall in line with religion other than what, what is really going on in society and what is right and what is wrong. Like I said, I didn't want to come back and do this, but it's the, the factual shit, man. I am not a religious person at all. I base things on factual information, but today when you go on social media, it, it's with AI, it's easily manipulated. And everything is fucking manipulated. This this election is the most manipulated election we will ever see for the first time. And it's just going to continue to get, get awful. I don't care for Donald Trump. I don't care for Kamala Harris. I don't care for uh, the Kennedy man. I don't care for any of y'all. Maybe we need an artificial intelligence to, to run uh, <laughs> human being society. Uh, it's disgusting. It's, it's a madhouse. It is literally madness. And I see more and more why people get so depressed and so overwhelmed. And uh, Inflation is apparently at as low as it's possible. I don't know. i got to order groceries tomorrow. But, like, it's nuts, man. But I'm going to still stay that one situation where... A helicopter, or excuse me, a plane flew over this island where th these human beings have never been in contact with anybody. And I remember from the Disney film that I showed you guys when it was like during World War II, it was like, you need to make sure that planes are going to be strapped with Warcraft to, to destroy each other because that was a thing at one time. Uh, there's so much shit you can learn from all this stuff, man. It's crazy that I learned that just from watching the damn... <laughs> the Disney Channel the other day or not the Disney Channel excuse me like 
a file share thing. I don't think it's on the Disney Channel, but it was like showing that if, if we're gonna win World War II, we need to make sure we have uh, planes in the air. Uh, it's just like 30 or 40 years before that, it was just the, uh, the brothers over there doing a the thing and they, they weren't prepared for all that. But it's, it's crazy to me to see how lack of intelligence and common sense and just understanding and, and trying to think past things, it frustrates me how ridiculous people are. And I see the conspiracy, conspiracy theories and all this stuff nonstop. And I, I click on, I'm like, oh God, now you're getting this. Oh God, oh God. You gotta balance it out. And I think anything in the past, like this film right alone from 1970 is a, is a pure treasure and a pure information source that you need to see. Uh, it is really brilliant to give you the aspect of throughout like okay humanity's been here for what i mean i've been here for 42 years am i 43 or 42 i don't even know but it's how long we've we've been here and previous life and previous uh, stuff it's just like we only know 2,000 years apparently i don't fucking know but that's bullshit with jesus christ and all it, it, it boggles my mind man and with the carbon dating and everything and then there's stuff with, like it shows that there is a the the buildings of construction with the, uh, lasers and building uh, certain blocks and people have confirmed this stuff. I just I, I can't even get to because I'm not intelligent enough. But it just it, I'm going to say again, the repetitive thing that boggles my mind is that uh, an airplane flew over a village, and the way this village reacted is exactly how we would react. We wouldn't know shit at that time. This was 1979. Imagine like 2,000 years before that, if something f flies over top of you, you're going to look at it as like a worship thing and this is your gods and all that stuff. And every, every piece of human history is a fire thing over the sky. Gods. Does that not say a rocket or something highly advanced with technology? You can go more and more to this stuff, man. With space and time and how this and you go farther away, time uh, slows down. Think about it. You think their their time farther away from here has slowed down to the point where like a day or a week for them of anything out there living is, I don't know, a couple hundred years, not a thousand years from now. Uh, you gotta really do your research on this stuff. And it just blows me away every day. And I will share this, I hope I do. <laughs> Which is such, I always share everything, which is like, I am hit. Okay, there's a red light on here. It's recorded. <clears throat> it's crazy. You have to, first of all, admit as a human being that you are not the most intelligent uh, thing. <laughs> this, this, whatever it is. And y'all are too stubborn. Human beings are so arrogant and stubborn and ignorant and paranoid. That you can never admit to any of that stuff. This is the thing I used to get in debates with in science in like middle school and high school, and I loved it. And there were times I got sent to the office for bringing up stuff. Even myself with the, with the video stuff with football, and like I was like, oh, I want to do video, but oh, oh, you had a you had an F in this class. So why I can't go film football because I I had an F in English or whatever the fuck that other class was. Why can't I focus on one thing? Oh, it made me so mad. I think that's what inspired me to make that ignorant fuck face film that a lot of my friends have been sharing again in tears. It's like, I, I can make films, man. I can make video content. Oh, it was so hurtful. I was just like, nah, man. And then just like middle school and all stuff I've discussed before was like, oh, what would you wear to your first day on your job interview? I mean, it was like, whatever I'm wearing now, why do I have to dress up to go to a job interview? Just like today's subject, if people like they have tattoos, you, you can't hold a career with a tattoo. Thank God that's a thing of the past. Just again, I'm just rambling here, but it's just like, just go back and watch the Chariots of the Gods. I think it's the Chariots of the Gods, whatever it was. Ancient and I was talked about all the time, but that was my first time actually finishing the whole film. And just seeing it, it's on film, you know, they got a cut and all that. It, it's brilliant, man. Because like I said, I'm a fan of old, old films and how much work it goes into making these films it's it's amazing to me 
And you know, as corny as it sounds like me sharing these videos, I, I want to go back to all these wrestling shows and keep all these up there. And I hope when I'm long gone, they're still there. I'm watching GCW Back at Wrestling 3 and some of the other stuff. The one I showed the other day from the world on GCW when they blew the hell up and they sold out that venue in New York. Uh, I'm always convinced they will do bigger and bigger than they are. Uh, but it was so cool to see all that, man. I just need the, <laughs> the audio source, video audio source, because uh, I don't have a uh, an app that'll let me download it from Thriller, GCW Back at Wrestling 3, and I want to edit the drone footage in there. But anyway, besides all that, that doesn't really matter. It, it just blows my mind every day that people are so ignorant and so uh, lost and, and think that none of this is capable. I mean, the majority of y'all are smart enough to know that, that whatever's out there, obviously, it's not just us. You got to think about time and all. And the, oh. I don't want to go into details. It just, it just blows me away at the common sense of people. And it frustrates me like no other. <laughs> and I hope that my sons are more intelligent than that <laughs> as they grow up. And this won't be a video I want to go back and watch. We didn't do anything. We did everything. You guys are clean. You smell clean. It's nice to kiss your foreheads and not worry about myself getting that, uh, you know, grossness on my lips when I kiss you, your heads, man. But uh, you kids are everything to me. I love you dearly. Uh, don't give up on human beings, man. We are something that can create art, uh, beauty, love, all that, man. But uh, sometimes I feel like whoever is looking down on us is going to give up on us instantaneously. Because <laughs> we're absolutely morons. Man, it doesn't make any much sense because I'm a little tipsy. But uh, it's good to be tipsy. Fall in line, do as you're told. And, uh, I don't know. Hail Kamala Harris and hail, hail Donald Trump. Nonsense. None of y'all mean nothing. None of y'all will ever do anything for anybody if they're really in a deep spot. None of y'all care at all. It's all about winning this election and all this bullshit. And, and if human beings don't start understanding that you gotta think for your damn well self and not let somebody else think for you, you're in a lot of deep shit. But, uh, I don't know. Again, just this, it's just crazy to me that how is this not a mainstream topic of what I just physically watched again? Not the whole thing the first time, but this time I actually watched it. I was like, holy shit. Nothing makes more sense than what I watched when it comes to humanity and, and how we were brought here and everything that goes on. It's literally like somebody came down from the stars and like made you, you're the religion now. Thoughts. All right, everybody, take care. Stop judging, stop loving, accept it as well. Just be yourself, me out. Treat the kids the way you want to be treated as a kid, at least the best you can. And, uh, you know, just just uh, be nice to each other, but also at all at the same time start to understand who you are and where you've come from. Because <laughs> the people before us, the people after us, whatever, it's just a little a tidbit of what, what uh, life is. I'm gonna say it again. I think we're just an energy source. Uh, you're you're just in a body form. doesn't mean that you you haven't been here a hundred times before or whatever i don't know man i don't know do you know none of us know so don't think it's the end of the world if uh if tomorrow's not given to you you're 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 gonna pass away from an unfortunate disease such as cancer which we're still trying to figure out here You'll rest easy and you'll be passed off into a better body form and somewhere else. And you could be reincarnated for it, you don't know. I, sometimes I look at Beckham and I'm like, holy shit, man. He's like a reincarnation of, of my father all the time. Man eating Cheerios. He's a diabetic at the same age. He became a diabetic at age four, just like my father. And just some of the things he says out of nowhere, man. 
And I know from the videos, they're like, oh, he has access to those videos. He doesn't have access to some of these videos on there because they're, they're blocked. He's saying Fritos and all something. I'm like, what the shit, man? <laughs> and even if it's not, it's, it's good to have that, that, that faith and that value and try to, like, say this is, this is what it is. But I don't know, man. But again, uh, before I cut it off, though, boys, I'm proud of you. I love you dearly. Thank you for letting your dad be a, a deadbeat punk out here having a drink at night and just questioning life. I know if one day as I watch these wrestling videos to get you guys to these shows, uh, it just really comes down to you guys growing up and maturing a little bit more. Because uh, I can't fly a drone and watch you guys at the same time or even film me. There's some old videos that you see on the vlogs and other stuff. I've tried it and it's just, it's complicated. Uh, it, it would endanger their life if I focus on doing the wrestling the whole time. So, but uh, wrestling is not the most important thing for you, for myself or you boys. Just you guys figuring out what, what you need to do for yourselves uh, uh, when I'm long and gone. And mom's all alone. And that's the ultimate goal here. And, and I hope to keep sharing daily as much as I can. I'm trying to make sure the videos are not too long, but not too short. Just understanding. And uh, again, I'm just, I'm just thankful for, for everybody that's reached out to me lately that has been like, Yo, where's all your wrestling videos? And that almost playlist is all yours. Uh, I got a couple of other individuals I want to send it out to because I feel like after the hit with GCW just happened recently, I was like, I want to make sure that that's never taken away from them. I don't think it should have ever been taken away from them to begin with, but like uh, people were trying to criticize the company and their values and all stuff, and even others that work from them because they got to, you know, their hearts are broken because they were a big part of it and then they got kicked to the side. But, uh, don't ever get me wrong. I love all y'all, man. You know I mean well all the time, man. I'm sitting there watching Pizza Cat. Uh, Billy stars over there. Marcus Mathers. And in the back here on a swing set. Flipping over to us. And I get where people are coming from. But uh, don't don't let one person take in a video of some things and do all that. And change all, all that perspective. In all honesty, I, I don't think that human being is a really bad person. As I know that's the thing. We got kind of guys, you guys are like respectful of me saying that stuff because it's like you can't just judge somebody on something they've done. I would say they made a bad business decision. Because from what I've watched wrestling through, it's just, it's all the same crap, man. It's all a bunch of nonsense of just like uh, looking at women and men. Also, but if, if you own a business and you're trying to make a big, you, you don't do what you did in that situation, which. For the majority of y'all know what I'm talking about. You don't you don't do that. And somebody called you out and figured out what a burner <laughs> it's, it's like uh, it is what it is, man. I have no heat towards anybody, but uh you know how, <laughs> how tough the the community is. They they gotta let you back anytime soon, man. I mean I've gone through multiple friends of wrestlers uh friends that come by here they'll make one simple mistake of being a pervert <laughs> like, i love women but i ain't out here doing what y'all doing so i don't know man <laughs> but again you, you, for those that have been to these situations that you know i'm talking about you didn't kill anybody but just i'm, I'm gonna give you the advice to stay away from from the wrestling community because they don't take nicely to y'all they're cancel culture times a hundred <laughs> And it sucks. It's a shame. Because some of y'all are really, really nice people. But like my dad would say to me, uh, start using your brain instead of your dick. <laughs> you could, you, if my dad was your father, you, would, you probably wouldn't have did that. <laughs> but again, I don't know. Ramble because I'm tipsy. Ting tong, bing bong. But again. Just go through life being nice with each other and uh, understanding and help those that need help. But don't try to force help on, on people because they might not actually need help. 
they're just uh, judged by you. So, I don't know. It just, it's a continuous cycle of nonsense. It, it boggles my mind. But again, I went from aliens to uh, people being perverts. <laughs> but go back and watch it and study your, your history here. Go back to when it was filmed and they were cutting films and all that stuff. Well, don't go through the videos on, on the YouTubes and Instagrams and the MySpace and Facebooks. Go to when it was an actual film and they had to shoot these videos and clip them and cut them with scissors and edit them. That's when it was real. There was no AI. There was no people to go and do all this and manipulate the footage. Okay? Because this is the beginning. The footage is going to get manipulated over the years. And I already saw some of the footage that was on this. The gods of chariots. The chariots of the gods. Whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, manipulation. Using AI. And when Apple comes out with, with Apple AI, that's it. It's all bullshit. You can do really good creative things using what you have and, and through videos and audio, and I plan on doing that. Uh, I might create, hell, a whole artificial intelligent wrestling industry. Not saying I will. My main focus will be to just uh, go back and try to see what's up with my pops and see if I can bring, it, bring him back and do stuff because I already tested some of them. And it's really fucking interesting, man. Uh, one of my old middle school science teachers that passed away, I know he'd be like, holy shit. I'm like, yeah, man, dude, this was a shit. <laughs> but, uh, just anyway, take care of yourselves. And I will see you tomorrow. I gotta go and pour all this crap in this. this. Get another stoke here. Take care. All right, so here's what unhealthy and healthy looks like. This is 2021 and then 2024. I look a lot better now than I did here. Drop the cigarettes, eat more. But it's just crazy to me that people are still going to throw religious bullshit with as I'm watching this uh, too uh, like I was saying from Disney when it was like a gentleman he simply said if you're going to win World War 2 you're going to have the planes it's just like whatever is going on in the future controlling everything which I hate that's a thing you got to control the space outer space has got to be controlled and if it doesn't happen in a proper way it's going to be a lot of problems man yeah, everybody battle. You see these these comedy shows come out like SpaceX and all, all that shit that goes on there, and, uh, and just seeing that Elon Musk is like put down how much he's accomplished blows my mind. I was like, wait, we want people like uh, Kamala Harris. She don't know what that was talking about. Uh, like Trump don't, but Elon Musk knows what he's talking about. He's an autistic adult. He knows. He's smart. It just blows my mind. Okay, let me go listen to what I said. Space wars, it's a real thing. Lasers. 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 Lasers.